Hey there, Babyface Huey, responding to your 100-sub giveaway with a VR. Uh, your question first off was, what advice would we give to a newbie pipe smoker? And uh, I guess I'd have to go back and look to be for sure, but I think that, you know, probably qualifies both to new pipe smokers and also to people that are considering the hobby. And I guess the first thing I would say is don't be intimidated by YTPC videos. Now, what does that mean? Um, you know, I had a couple of channels that I started following about a year and a half ago when I started smoking a pipe. And I couldn't believe that nearly every video, you know, they're pulling out a different style, a different brand, a different pipe. And of course, along with that comes brand new, different tobaccos every single video. And I just kind of remember thinking, man, you know, is this, is this going to break the bank? What am I getting into? Am I, do I have enough money? Am I cool enough to fit in? And, uh, you know, that's just, it's silliness in hindsight. But I, I understand that there may be people out there feeling similar. And uh, I guess so my advice would be, aside from don't be intimidated, testing the waters with the hobby can be very um, cost effective, so to speak. Uh, you can get yourself a good corn cob pipe. Um, this, I think, cost me 17 bucks from Missouri Meerschaum or from Arista Cob, actually. Um, but you can find them in tobacco stores and probably get them even a little bit cheaper. And just for the sake of the video, I am smoking a little Blender's Gold Toasted Cavendish. And the Toasted Cavendish Blender's Gold I actually purchased at Walgreens about a year ago. And uh, I think I paid 11 bucks for it and it's like a, what is it, 6 ounce tin, 8 ounce tin. Very, very efficient, uh, cost effective. Uh, way to test the waters and you know blenders gold is not terrible stuff you know there's there's certainly better pipe tobaccos out there but if your question is whether or not you're wanting to get into the hobby or going to stick with it you know don't don't go out and spend 15 20 bucks on a tin of tobacco uh, granted I've never found one that I didn't like there's there's some I like less than others but uh, you know for 25 30 bucks you can test the waters in the pipe tobacco world uh, you can listen to some of the other guys about how to pack a pipe and light a pipe and all of those things but don't don't feel like to be cool or to be a true pipe smoker that you're going to need to buy four or five pipes or ten pipes or twenty pipes you know whatever makes you comfortable for your income level um, and I've heard it over and over buy what you're you know, buy a pipe that you can afford. You can go out there and spend hundreds of dollars on some of the pipes that are available. Probably even thousands. But, you know, buy something that you can afford. But if you're just testing out, you know, a corn cob pipe or uh, Dr. Graybo, also at Walgreens, I think that was about 30 bucks. I'm sure you can get them cheaper online. But, you know, I wasn't sure if I would enjoy it. I wasn't sure if I'd like it, so that's what I did. I went to Walgreens, Dr. Graybo, a tin of tobacco, which was Polish vanilla, also not terrible, um, and tested it out. And it turns out I rather enjoy it and uh, have met a lot of good friends through the process via the YouTube here. So... That would, be, that would be my A number one tip. I'm going to put a little caveat on there. Um, lots of guys talk about buying estate pipes. Um, I would not maybe recommend that as your first option, only because until you've got some experience with piping and what estate pipes and what wear, just general wear, does to your own pipe, um, it's sometimes difficult to see the imperfections, the flaws, the cracks, you know, things that you should be avoiding in an estate pipe. But uh, that said, we were also asked to give a shout out. And this just happens to be perfect timing. Because I just did my VR giveaway last night and discovered this afternoon 
that I omitted olive wood piper from my giveaway. Um, I know he, he had put a link in his description, it got categorized as spam, and rather than approve, I must have uh, discarded it, and I feel terrible about that, it certainly was not intentional. Uh, so anyway, he's pretty new to the community, and uh, he's got some really great stories to tell through his VRs, and uh, I would encourage you uh, to go check him out, Olivewood Piper, it's all one word, there's no spaces in there, um, and uh, anyway. Here's to you, Babyface Huey. You've got some good stuff going on. I've enjoyed what I've seen so far. Uh, I think we've only been friends for, or uh, subscribers, I should say, for a couple of weeks now. Um, but I've watched several videos, and I always enjoy them. And, uh, you know, if you can, go ahead and pipe away in the house. Congratulations, and have a great day.